<laughs> Thank you Filte Bye bye Thank you Bye bye uh, Huh? Abhi Rajasthan ja raha hai Kapo ko ke Oh pawan chenge Aaj Udaipur ban jenge Shyam ko <laughs> Good morning everybody <laughs> 10th day of the ride 620 it is now here in a very hurry to catch the sunrise in Belavira that road to heaven so before that this yesterday night one bus load of school kids chalo milte hai bye bye yesterday one truck load of school kids came i think it's their picnic or something we couldn't sleep much actually because of this noise and all that stuff but anyways it's first as fun <laughs> they all came up took photos and now finally we are headed back Oh man, it's damn cold. It is damn damn cold. I don't know if the camera is capturing it. The moon and Venus looks oh, 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 oh. superb. The console it is showing 14 degrees Celsius. So I'm pretty sure it is around 10 or 11 now. Oh man. Oh man. Sunrise. Ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It is now six, seven o'clock. We have just 20 minutes to get there. and it's a bit of it we hardly doubt we'll be able to catch and race but let's see it is freezing cold 7 am correct 7 am 20 more minutes to catch and race hola vira oh man the roads are going to be small then we are screwed oh <laughs> see that cloud or mist water it is oh beautiful beautiful we are riding the right Oh shit. Sus sus everything and beyond what it is talked about and to be in time for sunrise was just a magical moment the road continues right through the kach lake as far as our eye can see the golden light of the sun over the horizon the reflection of it from the lake surface the sound of the cold gentle morning breeze along with our motorcycles gave a peaceful calm and meditative moment that took our minds to a realm beyond what the eyes were seeing <laughs> beautiful beautiful this is called the road to heaven bella vera to see some flamingos so for the next 30 km it's like this i hope that's flamingos man i hope that's flamingos flamingo <laughs> it's flamingos it's flamingos i think it's flamingos oh yes oh yes it's flamingos that's flamingos right yes can beautiful can be beautiful man oh shit holy shit I think because we are seeing it from far, it is feeling like a duck. I'll zoom and see. Switch out the engine, otherwise I'll fly away. The first sight of flamingos was far away from the road, so we couldn't make out well enough whether it was flamingos or some other large birds. So beautiful. 
the camera isn't doing any touches on <laughs> it. We saw the footage that I recorded, both in DSLR and in this. It is not doing this at all. I am so sorry that you guys are missing this. I mean, people who have not come here before. The flamingos are insanely beautiful. Insanely beautiful. See that. Beautiful. Long necks. Pink kind of feathers. The, the necks are white actually, but the body feathers are pink. So apparently this whole area will, will be white in color usually. This water won't be there and it will be just salt. Like how we saw the white desert in touch. It will be just uh, salt. And it, during sunrise it reflects the pinkish color of the sun. So the whole food, the place will be like pink. Imagine the that with the pink flamingo stand around. And they will be standing, they will not be like this. So we, we recently have a video set with the rain with six. Post the rain, it is flooded. So this whole now will be a cup lake. We thought that the flamingos are like sitting around and not the typical standing thing that you will see. It's damn beautiful. You can't even see the horizon over there. It's like endless. There's another flock of flamingos. For here you can see, here you can perfectly see. Lesser flamingos on the Kutch Lake was a spectacular sight to behold. The golden hour sun reflecting off their white feathers, the pink legs and beaks standing out in the background of the white Kutch Lake was a scene far better than any painting a painter could paint or any picture that a camera could capture. anything else I'm happy to see flamingos because I've always seen them in the Discovery Channel, in Animal Planet and all the stuff, TV networks, uh, documentaries that they show flamingos and and then they always tell like this is in India, this is happening in India. I'm like when will I ever get to see this and then now it's happening right in front of my eyes. <laughs> Maybe like 20, 20 years later of what I saw it on TV. Beautiful. Walking on the water, no? Clutch, 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 clutch. <laughs> to see these majestic creatures in their natural habitat doing their own thing is a feeling that cannot be simply put on words. So I think we are wasting a lot of time seeing, getting mesmerized by this amazing view. <laughs> it's so beautiful man. <laughs> More than the road to heaven and this, this thing. I am so excited to see flamingos. I always wanted to see them. In zoo also, when we used to go to the zoo and I have seen pelicans and stuff but I have never seen flamingos. Should never see, should never put their words in zoo. That's another thing but still, I have never seen flamingos till now. And to see them in the wild. <laughs> So beautiful, so beautiful. See that? Beautiful man. I can stay here the entire day and watch flamingos and do nothing else. <laughs> it's 8.30, we reached at 7.30. Now it's 8.30, one hour we have spent on this 2 kilometers. <laughs> Seeing flamingos, shooting flamingos. 
sort of beautiful sort of beautiful so this is how usually it looks a layer of pink and white salt on both sides and when it is flooded it looks like how we saw in the back and this salt usually reflects the sunrise colors so that's why people is coming for sunset and sunrise we believe it so this road is as perfect like half sunrise over there sunset over there amazing i think these are smaller but seagulls i think it's the seagulls this area smells like fish a lot of fish i think maybe that's a big seagulls are there Oh, mixed with flamingos. There are also flamingos are there. Oh, man, it's so amazing. <laughs> okay, so now the sun is up, starting to get warm. Riding through the road to heaven on an early morning was one of the most therapeutic and meditative experiences I've had on a motorcycle. I recommend every rider to visit at least once in their lifetime. I think that's it. Road to heaven is done. <laughs> We're reaching Bola Vira now. I think we'll stop here and have breakfast and then continue ahead. After we crossed the Kutch Lake, we came across a few patches of salt plains here and there on our way to Palanpur. <laughs> Look at the horns! Yeah. So scary man! Man, this is so damn scary. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is coming to a tree. I'm now very scared of these cows now. After I hit it, hit one of them on the road. It's like the horns of an antelope. We started at 6.30. Now it is 9.45. Till now, we didn't see any place where we are getting food to eat. The small town. Few buns are hanging around. I think we'll get at least vada pav here. Anything is fine. Something is better than nothing, right? <laughs> so we'll have vada pav and give vada pav. We filled our empty stomachs with whatever charts we could find on the streets before we continued our journey to Palanpur. Google Maps took us through a shorter state highway that connected Dolavira to Palanpur. Little did we know that we were in for an off-road trail ride. We enjoyed the short burst of tarmac and the long stretches of off-road. But little did we know that it would last for one, one and a half hours. The road took us through some salt plains, agricultural lands and villages. Finally, we joined the main road that led us to the highway. We had to cross a few village towns before we joined the highway. It was 50 kilometers of decent dish road, bad road, severely bad road. Oh, it took more than one and a half hours. Ten. Now it is 11:30. Yeah, correct. One and a half hours to correct to cover 50 kilometers. And now finally we are joining the highway to Palanpur. Oh, what a relief! What a relief! So we took a deviation from the national highway. GPS showed a alternate route, alternate state highway connecting two major towns. It takes off 11 kilometers in the total distance. So we thought we'll give it a shot. That's why the roads are narrow. Anyways, another 50 kilometers to Palanpur. We should reach by 1:32 maximum and have lunch from there. Once we join the highway, we'll find a place to eat. You join the highway. Getting tired of eating vegetarian food, man. Everywhere veg hotels, veg hotels, veg hotels.
We search in Google for a non-veg hotel somewhere it is showing in South Metal Sage. I hope it is open. I hope it is available. Palanpur looks like a big city. So many branded showrooms and all that stuff. Looks like there is non-veg here. Ah, uh, man. Just had lunch here in Palanpur. I think we took the road to heaven. That road to heaven led to heaven. Because... Tasting chicken after four days of pure vegetarian food and fed like modern man. Oh, not to piss off any vegetarians here because, but being a Malayali, you cannot take non-vegetarian out of Malayali. <laughs> from the time we left Buj, I mean, from the life we left Ahmedabad, we couldn't get a hotel serving non-veg. Everywhere does veg. Initial one day, two days, it was fine. Third day, fourth day, and all I hear, started getting withdrawal. But I was craving for at least one egg. If I could get this one egg, one omelette or one boiled egg or something. That much simple I was cra- craving non-veg food. And finally, when we reached Palampur, we stopped by the road and then searched for a non-veg hotel. And fi- luckily, we fa- found one near to the highway itself. So, I had one kebab. Ah, so beautiful. I can never be a visitor in. Never ever. Beautiful, beautiful. The highway from Palampur to Udaipur was a breeze to ride. It led us through ever-changing terrains and tunnels. As we neared Udaipur, the weather became more pleasant. We have left the highway and entered Udaipur city. I think it is just uh, 6 kilometers to our destination. We have booked a hostel for tonight and tomorrow night. Two nights staying here. Nino need service tomorrow. So, we spending two nights and a day here. In another 18 minutes, we are bound to reach our destination. Google Chechi as usual saying yeah, through small roads with heavy traffic. <laughs> We unloaded and spent the night in the hostel. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. See you in the next one where we explore Udaipur.